here at Newmarket for the 10 furlong maiden stakes for three-year-olds here on the July course at Newmarket. We've got Aristotle for my stable in number one, Baton Rouge for Paul Rhodes, Daiwitsa Mella for T. Rogers, Dan's Watchers for Steve Rand, Lopinot Cheetah for Davy Ladd, Ngong Beauty for James Shea, Ribchester for D. Thompson, Royal Alchemist Jim Murray, San Silly Servant for D. Hooley, Ty Braveheart for Dan Hughes, and completing the lineup, we've got the living legend for Josh Sutherland. And away they go. And the last horse I mentioned there, the living legend, was such an impressive winner for season trainer Josh, Josh Sutherland on uh, the latest trials day. So it'll be interesting to see how that horse follows up here now that the league's underway. But going into the early lead, it's Ty Braveheart and those all blue silks just ahead of Royal Alchemist. And the living legend has moved forward into third there. You can see in those black and red silks for Josh Sutherland. Over in uh, the centre of the track, we've got Daiwitsa Mella. Uh, and closer inside towards the rail we have Royal Alchemist that one's racing just alongside the living legend and moving forward into second place there but the early lead and pace being set by Ty Braveheart and that one's moved on about a length Royal Alchemist just inching ever so slightly closer Daiwita Mella remains right in the center of the track it'll remain to be seen whether that's an advantage or a disadvantage as we go into the final few furlongs but there's still five and a half furlongs left to travel at the moment lop and not cheetah is one that's also in the middle of the track behind that one we have san silly servant ungong beauty bat on rouge aristotle and dan's watchers are the two back markers at the moment so inside the last four and a half furlongs ty braveheart's been joined up front now by royal alchemist setting a pretty decent pace here in this 10 furlong race be interesting to see whether there's any classic contenders come out of this particular trial here so it's ty braveheart now kicking back on and going a few lengths clear the living legend now looking at moving forward as is royal alchemist again after briefly dropping out lopinocci their rib chesters there as well and coming up on the rail is baton rouge that one's really moving forward for paul rhodes now into second place and challenging ty braveheart as they go into the final two furlongs ty braveheart's not been passed yet but is about to be by baton rouge who now goes into the league the lead living legend is struggling to go with him at the moment but starting to pick up Ribchester's trying to get going, but some of them are going to have to get going quite quickly to catch Baton Rouge, who's stolen a march on them as we go in the final half of Furlong. Nothing's catching this, I tell you. Baton Rouge is going to win this, easing down for Paul Rhodes. Very impressive winner there. Baton Rouge, surely destined to go on to bigger and better things as we progress through this season. Ty Braveheart, who set the early pace, just couldn't go with it and dropped out quite tamely in the final furlong and a half there. But it's Baton Rouge that wins it, and Gong Beauty ran on really well to take second place. And Lopinot Cheetah, who travelled well throughout, stayed on into third place there at 13-2. But it's a win, Baton Rouge, for Paul Rhodes, continuing his great form on the flat from day one with a really impressive winner there. Rungong Beauty second for James Shea, another good runner for that stable. Lopinot Cheetah third for Davy Ladd, and the living legend, so good on trials day. A decent run, but only fourth. Ribchester fifth for D. Thompson.